Hello, hello, it's Kelly from Coco's Crafty Corner. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my videos happening weekly. We're gonna aim for two videos a week. Um, today we are going to do a shadow box. I got this um, layered letter K mandala from specialheartstudios.com. It's a free cut file that they have on there. When you go to the website for the first time, what you need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. It asks for your email. You send your email in and they reply back with a password to get into their free vault. And they have a bunch to choose from, but I was searching for this letter, but I get, got a little distracted by all the cut files they have. So don't forget to check out special studio, sorry, specialheartstudio.com. I will leave the link in the description box below. And if you're wondering what this one is, it is the floral layered alphabet, which is when you scroll, once you get the free password to the vault, you scroll down, it's the number 44 on there and you get the whole alphabet. Um, so I have everything set up behind me. Let's get started on this. I've never done a shadow box like this before. So let's see how it turns out. camera switched up you can see now what I'm working with I have the letters here the frames over here behind or underneath the flowers I got a little bit of embellishments I don't know if we'll add those um I also have different adhesives so I have Mod Podge to glue down the glitter we're gonna hope that works and um, this is like a fine point glue pen so let's get that open and I'll show you what it looks like all right, so here's the pen. I've never used one of these before, but I've seen other crafters use it. It's kind of like one of those whiteout pens where this is soft. Looks like I have vinyl on my finger. This is kind of soft so you can squeeze it a little bit to get the glue to come out. And then it's just like a ballpoint pen, which will help us with these fine lines on this top layer. I also have some 3D adhesive. Um, I'm not sure if that's called, but it's called foam adhesive, sorry. That that way the bottom layers, we could raise them up just a little bit more to give it a little bit more dimension. Let's get started. All right, to start us off, I'm just going to trace. This is the back of, from the frame. It has the little hanger on it. I'm gonna trace that so that I can get that glue down so it has plenty of time to dry. Now what I'm going to do is grab a foam brush. Actually, I can just kind of go like that. Spread it around even, make sure you get the edges. You don't want the paper to lift up. do is I'm going to add some Mod Podge to the back of the paper as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it, set it aside, place it upside down so that way, hopefully, 
or I'm gonna place something war or warm, <laughs> place something heavy on it so that way it has pressure all around while we work on the rest of this. Okay, now we're gonna start working on our letter. I'm going to glue down the top layer first just so that way it has more time to dry before we start working on layering it all. Let's see how this pin works. First time I'm using it. It has a has like a blue glue in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's already coming out of there, so let's wipe that off before we make a huge mess. Ooh, there's a lot coming out of it. It's nice that it's blue because you can see where you're placing it. We'll have to see if it dries clear. Like I said, I've never used this before. Oops. also seen people use like a spray glue which might be a little easier than the pen so carefully pick it up Ooh. hopefully it dries clear because we just got glue everywhere <laughs> Try to wipe off what we don't need on there. That was pretty simple to get it to kind of move in the way we wanted it. So there's our first layer. We're going to set that aside, let that dry. Now this seems like it'll be a little easier to layer. I have my foam adhesive. We are going to take this top layer and put a bunch of this, these little foam squares on it. Sorry about that, my camera decided to tell me my storage is full. So let's continue. You wanna make sure you place enough of the foam adhesive. You don't have to do this. You can glue it layer on layer without the extra dimension. This just gives it a little more 3D effect. But you wanna make sure that you put enough of the foam adhesive. You wanna make sure that you do put enough so that it holds its structure when it when we layer the other pieces on it. All right, flip this over. And unlike the glue, don't really have time to move it around like with the glue adhesive so you gotta be pretty precise on where you put that all right I'm gonna do the rest of the layers and come back and we'll get that top layer put on okay we got that done I didn't put foam adhesive on all the layers just two of them it was a pain to use these little squares. I don't know what brand they are. It was just something I had in my stash. I do not recommend that. It was a pain to get every individual little piece of paper off the back 
of the squares once I got them stuck down. So for this one, because we have a few of the thinner lines in here, we're gonna use our pen again to adhere it to our stacked letters. seems to be holding that glitter cardstock on really well so that is good Oops. if you do want to use foam adhesive I suggest trying to find the foam tape that you can cut down to the size that you need because whew, that was quite the chore to get like I said all that little paper off glue drying fast hopefully it's just turning clear and hasn't completely dried because I'm not working fast enough for it. <laughs> Looks like doing the dots is the trick for this pen. All right let's get this final layer on. check on our backing and get this all put together all right and I decided to plug in my hot glue gun since this is a glitter background I figured that would probably be the best adhesive to use to get the letter to stick to the background so I'm going to do this real quick so that the hot glue doesn't um, cool off on me and I'm gonna try to aim for not towards the edges because I don't want the edges to curl from the heat so Hopefully that is centered. It's hard to see off camera. <laughs> it looks okay for my first time. What do you think? We're gonna stick it in the frame. Oh, we did it upside down. Turn it over, get it back in the frame. All right, we got it in there. Fold this down. Voila. I'm going to finish it off by putting the name across the middle. All right, so we have the name here in a matte white vinyl, permanent vinyl. I'm going to wipe this glass down with an alcohol wipe just to make sure that no oils were transferred to the glass. Let that dry really fast. All right. At first I was going to put it there in the middle, but I don't want to cover up that. So we're going to go straight for the bottom. product.